what's going on YouTube so I am back with another video so I was supposed to post the video of me doing my uh, uh, brake shoes replacement and the drums for my old one Honda CRV but I was at a little time time crunch so I had to get get it done and I was getting aggravated because it's brake shoes it's, it's a pain in the ass so I haven't posted that one up yet, but I will. So, so that's why I haven't posted that video up yet. So, but today, I guess you guys can see in my hand, I'll be changing my uh, fuel filter for my old one Honda CRV. So, um, I don't think it needs to be changed out, but I've had this vehicle already for in my position for two years, as in a uh, a new fuel filter. So I mean, it wouldn't hurt to put in a new one. I mean, I only paid, uh, this one was like 20 bucks, and this was at O'Reilly's. Like I said, O'Reilly's sponsoring, man. You know, sponsorship. Anyways, guys, so, um, yeah, let's uh, change out this uh, fuel filter on this uh, 01 Honda CRV. So, let's do that. All right, guys, and if you guys hear that pounding, that's, uh, they're doing construction. It's still in my neighborhood. So, anyways. So this right here, guys, that is the old fuel filter. Um, I mean, it looks old because the engine's old, but who knows if it's really old and who knows if it's somewhat good, but it wouldn't hurt to change it out. So that is what it looks like. So just looking at it, guys, you got this bolt up here, which is a 17 millimeter bolt. And I have right here. So I got my... 17 millimeter bolt with my half inch ratchet and then back here how many guys can see that but there's actually a bolt right there right there that one right there that one is a uh, 10 millimeter so i have my deep socket uh 10 millimeter with my 3h dry ratchet and that's for this little bracket right here so but we're actually gonna do that last so, and I'll tell you, I'll explain to you guys why I'm going to do it last. So, and then, so, as like the fill filter, you got two fittings, one up to the top and one to the bottom. So, this bottom one down here, which is probably the one I'm going to have trouble with because this is a hard line. So, that right there is a 14 millimeter, this 14 millimeter, yeah, 14 millimeter. And you gotta replace that. So what I'm gonna do first, and when you guys take off your fuel lines, it is gonna leak a little bit of fluid. Don't worry, that's just a uh, built up pressure in your lines. So if you guys want to, I got my little tarp underneath because I don't want my wife to be screaming at me and yelling at me why my garage looks all dirty. So what I'm gonna do first is, guys, I'm gonna remove this 17 millimeter bolt to get this line out of my way and. When you guys remove this line, I want to say this little banjo right here, it should come up like a little O-ring, a metal O-ring. Do not lose that. I'm telling you right now, do not lose that because you guys will need that. That will stop um, your um, your lines from leaking. So if you guys don't have the little O-ring, that metal O-ring, and you put this back on with the little bowl onto that banjo, it is going to leak. So please, if you guys drop it, find it, or go get a new one. But you guys will need that o-ring so let me take that off all right guys so like i said i'm not going to remove that bracket with the 10 millimeter drive just yet because i want that to be in place so that way I'm not fighting it on the ground and it's gonna be a hassle trying to uh, remove that. So I don't, and you don't even have to remove this whole bracket, right? You don't have to remove this. So just leave it the way it is. So now since I removed that uh, bolt, that 17 millimeter bolt, I will be taking off that hard line and um, it's gonna be a 14 millimeter wrench. So let's do that. So I'm only checking these bolts just to make sure they're tight. Because I don't want this thing flexing on me and bending. 
because it was loose. So I'm gonna try to prevent that by making sure it's in place. So, I took off that 14 millimeter bolt first because I don't want that line to be in my way. So now I have all this to work with. Ouch. And yes guys, they will be a little bit stuck if you haven't changed it for a long time. Which is happening right now. But, I got it off. Um, before you guys start telling me, oh, why aren't you guys use, why aren't you using a uh, a wrench for like the fuel lines? Or I mean, I am using a wrench, but let me see what I'm talking about. So this is a double nut flare wrench, which is you should be using like on hard lines. But I was trying to use it, and it was actually stripping that uh, that nut, that bolt. So that's why I'm not using this flare nut. I'm just using a regular 14 millimeter uh, wrench. Before you guys start commenting down below and let me know. So. Uh. off now it's not going nowhere so <sighs> that was of it. okay now since you guys have both your guys' lines off now you will go behind here and take off that little bracket that's holding your fill filter So the oil filter is off like you just seen in the video or that little clip, whatever. So get your old filter, get your new filter. Just do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Make sure it looks the same and it looks the same. So yeah, so now what I would do first, I would actually, um, I'll show you right now. So let's grab this one. Ah. So I'll put this in place how it was on the old one. But I will actually be first putting on this bottom one, this bottom hard line, the fuel line, and then I'll put on that top one, the top 17 meter uh, fuel line with the banjo bolt. And then that's when I'll put the bracket on, on the last one. So let's do it. And then when you guys put this bottom bolt on first, I would suggest hand tying it first. And once you get a couple of like one or two, one or two threads on there, then use the wrench. Because you don't want to strip this and be looking feel. So. <clears throat> yep, and you guys can hear that? It's my lovely assistant, Milamo.
Oh, baby. Daddy, going yeah. It's snugged up. Yeah. <clears throat> so that one's on. That looks like it's in place. That ain't going nowhere. Remember, guys, don't forget that little metal O ring. Put that on first. Or you guys could wait and just. Um, so, it actually has two of them. You got one on the top, and then you have one other one on the bottom. So, you have two in total. I thought it was only one, but I guess on this one, it runs two. So, make sure you put both of them. Line. Tight first. Then use your 17 millimeter. That's not good. Okay. So not tight yet. So you get that bracket on your 10 millimeter bolt on back there. Now this one's probably gonna be difficult to do yep difficult to do Got it. A couple of threads in there. Daddy. What, my amor? Check the bottom one one more time. Make sure everything's good. Yep, everything's good. That is in place. So that's it. All right, guys. Uh, and then once you have that fuel filter bolted up and in place, go ahead and get in your car. Put the key in. You're gonna prime your vehicle. So you're gonna turn it on to get that fuel pump going. Okay. Just let that get done beeping. Turn it off all the way. Do it one more time. Get that fuel pump going. Okay. And then you're going to start it up. And then once you start it up, go back to that fuel filter. Make sure there, there's no leaks of fuel. So let's do that. So that's it guys, that's uh, about it on doing a fuel filter change on a 97 to 01 Honda CRV. So yeah, that's about it guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this, that this video helps you guys out. And, and if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel 
and hit that like button please and hit that bell notification so that way you guys are up to date on videos that I do for my vehicles. So I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel. Help me out. Help me help you out. That makes sense. But yeah. Anyways guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.